You know what I love is those jokes where someone's like, Hey, she's coming, act natural! And everyone's like... The fuck? That's not natural. Anyways, what's up? It's Destiny. That had nothing to do with the rest of this video, but welcome back to another recap vlog. If you aren't familiar with these videos, it's basically where I just talk about the things that have been going on in my life for the past couple of weeks. Which, if you know anything about my life, is probably not that much. Recap vlog! Recap vlog! Okay. Try to make an intro song. Does not sound good. But anyways, um, about a month ago, Nathan came down from Idaho to hang out with me for a bit, which is pretty awesome. Um, we uh, went to this sweet arcade in Portland called Ground Control, which has a whole bunch of like 80s and 90s games. Went to this really pretty place in Portland called the Japanese Gardens, and I seriously just wanted to like get a sleeping bag and just live there because it was honestly like that pretty. Like more beautiful than Kate Beckinsale in Underworld. And I know, you guys are like, what? Impossible. But no, it was that pretty. Also, we went to a jump park, which is basically where they just have a whole bunch of trampolines trampolines everywhere, and that was awesome. It also sucked though, because it made Nathan and I realize that we're no longer like 12. Cause I mean, we went in there with all this energy, we were like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah! And I wanna say after like five jumps on the trampoline, we were like, <laughs> Why did we do this? I don't know how I did that with my throat, but it was still really fun. We also went and uh, shot my bow in like this grove area behind my apartment, and holy shit. All right, so there was these kids back there, probably like seventh, eighth grade, and uh, they were all like, you know, smoking cigarettes and trying to impress the uh, other, you know, preteen chicks that were back there with them. And you know, here me and Nathan come in wearing our fucking pajamas with a bow and arrow. Long story short though, one of these kids just thought he was so fucking cool and was like, you know, that's really dangerous, right? You can kill someone, right guy? Right guy? Right guys? No, but seriously, right guys? And I wanted so badly just to like shoot this kid in the forehead and snarl like a demon to the rest of his wannabe cool fucktard friends, but I didn't. I just swallowed my pride, realized that the joke's on him because he's probably gonna develop an alcohol addiction in the next couple of years, and walked off. Yeah, screw this joint, guys. Let's go back to my house and watch Frozen. Best movie ever, right guys? Right guys? Right guy? No, but seriously, right guy? Needless to say, though, it fucking ruined my day. Anyways, here with me today, though, to talk about Nathan visiting is Mr. Ahoy Nato himself. Ow. Hey, guys. You shattered my fucking femur. <laughs> so, Nathan, what was your favorite part about visiting? Uh, probably none of it. It all pretty much sucked. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, probably <laughs> my favorite part was going to the jump park. That shit was just insanely fun, and I haven't done anything that physically strenuous <laughs> in years. <laughs> True, dude. All right, what about second? What was your second favorite part? Hmm. Probably just chilling out with my best friend. Oh. oh. So cute. <laughs> All right, get the fuck out of here. Oh. But yeah, guys, I guess our shift name is now officially either Date or Ness. So I, you know, choose whichever one of those you want. But yeah, having him down here was really awesome, and uh, obviously he's back now. So yeah. Expect some more videos. What else has been going on? Oh, uh, I went to court recently because I was actually suing my apartment complex, and I totally won! Just kidding, I lost. But basically, when I got my new car, my uh, old car was just moved elsewhere on the property, and then so they towed it because apparently they thought it was stolen, even though I had to give them my make and model of that car when I moved in here, which is pretty bullshit. And even more bullshit that they won because apparently if you park in uncovered parking spots here, you have to move your car every 24 hours? Like, what the fuck? How does that make sense? Like, what if I go on vacation for a week? Are you gonna tow my car because I'm having fun somewhere? Like, what if I just want to stay inside for a couple days and do nothing? You really gonna make me be like, oh, it's been 21 hours since they moved my car. I better go drive it for no reason. But then, so basically, my car was towed, and now I'm liable for, like, over a thousand dollars of impound fees, even though my original intention for that car was to sell it. So yeah, I went to court with my apartment complex, and, um, you know, it really, really sucked, the whole thing, and it really didn't help that, you know, when I was there, I was the most nervous person. I hadn't eaten at all that day. I woke up at fucking nine in the morning, which is early for me. My mouth was drier than a mummy's dick. Whatever though, it's really fucking stupid, but whatever. I just wish we had a court system where you could just be the sassiest motherfucker to everyone, because if that was the case, I probably would've won. Just like, the car looked like it had been abandoned, Your Honor, because there were papers all over the front seat. Oh yeah, that's something she actually said, by the way. But yeah, I'd just bust up in there and be like, oh no, there were papers in the front seat? Oh my god, how embarrassing. Are you the car police? You tell people what's safe to have in their front seat and what's not? Oh, thank god you're here, man. Those papers were probably so dangerous, I bet. 
Um, no, it just looked like your car was abandoned. You know what looks abandoned? Your love life, you wretched old bitch. And then strobe lights come down and I hold up a huge sign that just says get wrecked and trap music plays in the background. Even the judge is like, oh shit bitch, you got wrecked, GG, GG. I find in favor of this swag-tastic bitch wearing a blazer. Oh yeah, I was wearing a blazer by the way. So yeah, that sucked. I uh, also went to my first ever gay pride parade. And for the people out there watching this and saying, I knew it, I knew this guy was gay. I'm not gay, I just thought it'd be fun to go to a gay pride parade, all right? And it actually was really fun. I saw way more dudes assholes than I wanted to see, but it's whatever, I guess. Like, I just loved how stereotypically homoerotic the whole thing was, and it was just really awesome. It was mostly awesome just to see all the different kinds of people there, you know, from just, like, normal-looking guys to, like, old biker dudes, young, like, preteen chicks to, like, super old ladies in their 90s making out. It was super awesome. Well, not watching, you know, 90-year-old ladies making out, because that's kind of gross, but, you know, just way too many dentures moving around for me to enjoy watching, to be honest. But yeah, there was also, like, this vampire chick that kept walking past me, and I was like, 100 percent sure she was a real vampire. Especially because when she went in the sun, it was like... Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it was just a very interesting and eye-opening experience, and I really enjoyed it, actually. And the last thing that happened the last couple of weeks is I actually went to the dentist. And I fucking hate the dentist, because, you know, before you go in the dentist, you look in the mirror at your smile, and you're like... You know, like, you don't think that your smile is all that bad or anything, and then you go in the dentist and it's like, Alright, let's have a look at those teeth. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Kathy, clear my appointments. This guy's mouth is fucked up. Alright, so, uh, we got miles of plaque behind this tooth. Do you even floss? No. Yeah, I thought not. You fucking disgust me. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god! See that? Your gums! Bleeding! That's bad. That's real bad, man. That's real, real bad. Yeah, it's because you're poking a giant, sharp object on my gums. Okay, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to Stop exhaling. Your breath is the worst thing I've ever smelled. Jessica, come smell this guy's breath. Ah! Well, it's a good thing you came to us, because this can all be reversed. Um, all we need is $22,000 in the deed to your firstborn child. Sound good? Ah! That sounded like a yes, right, guys? Also, we're probably going to need some more money, because Jessica's literally dead from smelling your breath. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's been happening in the last couple of weeks. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It'll tell you when I make new videos. Also, let me know in the comments down below what uh, your worst, you know, dentist appointment experience has ever been, because I think the last one was probably the worst. Have you ever killed a person named Jessica? Apparently I have now. Rip Jessica, killed by smelling a man's breath. Anyways guys, I will see you next week. Uh, I'm probably going to try to film a Q&A video, and uh, if I don't do that, then Nathan and I will be filming a uh, Destinate video, so make sure you guys are subscribed over there as well to that channel, and uh, yeah. That being said though guys, thanks for watching another recap vlog. I will see you next time, and fair winds.